Okay, I gotta give you a little bit of background on this one first. So I'm not originally from Maryland. I am actually from the Philadelphia area, which everyone around here says is completely obvious because I say words like water and I call things hoagies. But anyways, because of that, and because my father raised me as a Philadelphia Eagles fan, I am still a Philadelphia Eagles fan. And I gotta tell you before everybody starts booing and hating on me that it has not been easy, okay? I, but I've stuck through it and I'm still a very faithful fan and 2017 was an absolutely miraculous year. I swear I will still 10 years from now, never believe that it happened, but it was phenomenal. And ever since then, it's gone back to being just as bad. So. Uh, also, I would like to note that my husband is a very, very, very big uh, Washington football fan. So we have some tense moments in our house, but for the most part, considering both teams' history in the last, oh, you know, like 20 years or so, we tend to empathize because we 100% feel each other's pain and know that whenever he is hurting, I too generally am hurting. As you can probably guess from the two fur balls sitting on my lap, the answer is yes. So this is Holmes and this is Watson and they're both a little camera shy. So I'm just going to put them down. Ugh. So we got them when they were about 12 weeks old. Uh, they are about two and a half now. Uh, they're actually really good cats, although I am somewhat convinced that they are dogs inside cat bodies because they do stuff like run to greet people at the door. They will play, play fetch, no joke, for hours on end. But they are really, really good cats. They are really kind, really extroverted, love being around people. So we are really lucky to have found them. And uh, they are not litter mates, but they would think that they were brothers. So uh, yeah, we're really happy to have them in our home. So the last book I finished was The Haunting of Hill House. And I read it because I just recently finished the series on Netflix and I wanted to see how the two compared and uh, yeah I gotta tell you spoiler alert absolutely nothing alike but um, I actually I really love to read I'm a big reader and my favorite author is probably Stephen King which is actually kind of hilarious because a hundred percent I hate horror movies can't stand them they scare me to death I am definitely that person when they're on hiding my eyes behind my hands hiding my whole face behind a pillow I uh yeah I just really don't do well with them but um Still my favorite author, so go figure. So my first car was a 1993 Dodge Spirit. The two distinct things about that car, uh, first was the name of the color of the car was Wildberry. And my family has this thing where we name all of our cars and we all thought that the color of the car was so disgusting because it was this like, reddish brownish kind of like we didn't have anything to do with all this leftover paint in the factory so we kind of mixed it all and made this that we wound up calling the car gagaberry and that was what my father would yell in front of my friends all the time when i was in high school so that was cool and uh the other distinguishable thing was that it was actually the only car i have ever owned that is an automatic i've driven manual since then uh even though they're kind of going out of style but um that's it If I wasn't in finance, I would most likely be doing one of two things. Uh, number one, I actually went to college for meteorology and have a degree in meteorology, which is essentially nothing more than a fancy way of saying a whole lot of physics and a whole lot of math. But even though I'm not in that field now, um, and I'm very, very happy where I am, I still like get all into the weather maps and stuff whenever like there's hurricanes or floods or like blizzards and snowstorms are my really, they're my favorite. But if that wasn't an option, number two would definitely be something in the car world. I'm actually a really big uh, car nut. I 100% blame my father for that. He got me into it. Uh, since I, I can't remember a time not being into it, he was the first one that put a wrench in my hand and would let me help uh, work on his cars as he was working on them. So I totally owe that credit to him. So I would absolutely love to be doing something in the automotive field, whether it was design or actually getting in there and getting dirty to wrench on the cars. Um, but I guess there's always option number three, which would be um, a mega lottery winner retiring to my private tropical island by either Fiji or Tahiti, where I would specialize in, oh, let's see, uh, perfecting the salted margarita.